Hi, today we are harvesting and also curing our garlic. We have been harvesting garlic for days now. I'll show you some more. Maybe it's better this way. I never know. I'm a photographer, I'm not. Anyway, we've been harvesting now for several days in several different fields, or I should say boxes, not fields. Well, it feels like it sometimes. We have them everywhere. We have them out in our on our driveway under a breezeway see it's a breezeway hello breezeway it's a large breezeway hello little birds anyhow we harvest and then we let them dry then we clean them off and then we take them over to where we're going to be hanging them here's an example here's an example of the elephant garlic that we've harvested and see those little bow bets those are that's gold that's that's gold. What we do is we take the bow bets off, walk you over to where I hang them all. This is my drying rack in my work shed. It's actually a shop. And we use these racks, these large metal racks, which we let them sit and dry for quite a long time. And then we also hang them from the various slots. So we have lots of garlic around here. And what's very cool is this garlic was harvested about, oh, three, four weeks back. That was the start of it. And they're already cured. And uh, this is what's known as cheese milk red. This one doesn't belong in there. Naughty, naughty. And uh, there's some over there that are dry. And once they dry, we clean them up a little more. We take the uh, shaggy ends off. We trim the stalks to about four to six inches, and then we just let them stay on these racks until they're dry. But when we're doing the process, we take these little bull bets off. It's kind of hard to juggle this, but we'll try. Anyhow, the bull bets, I collect them, and I let them dry. And in October, I put them in pots where they start making small bulbs. Here's one of the smaller ones from last year's harvest. As you can see, it's a singular ginormous bulb. This will be planted in October, and these are some of the bulbets also that I have already cured. In fact, what's cool about this particular batch, they'll be going in the ground actually probably in another month. These are from last year's harvest. These garlics are still rock hard. They were cured properly. I've been eating them actually because they're very tasty. Some of them are elephant garlic, some of them are Italian garlic. They're still rock hard and still very viable and very tasty. But they will become, come October, September, October, they'll become seed for next year as well as some of these bigger ones. We always save back the very biggest ones for our seed stock. These are fresh right now, so they're drying. It'll take several weeks for them to dry. So that's kind of what we're doing today. We are processing probably a total of 100 pounds of garlic. I have just as many next door at the other garden as I have here. So it's a, it's a process, but at the end of the day, you end up with some really, really tasty garlic. Again, here's an example from last year. They're still tasty, they're still viable. And again, what we do is we hang them upside down until they're bone dry, and that seems to work the best. This is usually, I turn the lights off, this is usually cool, dark, and dry, and that's the secret for curing and storing the garlic, cool, dark, and dry.